Look, we can be cynical about it till the end of it. I'm just asking you what your personal view is. And I've been very clear what my personal view is, and I think so has the jury. The jury has spoken, and they've been very clear. Self-defense means you were defending your life from a real perceived threat. Whether or not you were injured to the degree that some would have you be injured to in order to shoot someone or not, you actually perceived an imminent threat of grave bodily harm or death. And that is what the circumstances were that surrounded George in the moment he fired his pistol. That's the law in this country. The jury's been very clear. They agree with George. It is unfortunate that someone lost their life. But having said that, you asked me if this, the, the role were reversed. Yeah. I, w I don't begrudge anyone for trying to get to answers as to why their son died. I just, what I do take issue with is when those answers are not immediately forthcoming, throwing the race card on the table and accusing everyone from George, the Sanford Police Department, the Chief of Police, Billy, the State Attorney's Office in the 18th Circuit, everyone in between of being racist or sweeping a murder under well, the... Well, Mark America might have said that if George Zimmerman had been black, he would never have been charged with any offense. Perhaps not, because that happens in Chicago every day. You know, there are many people who go out and, and shoot other people who are black, and they shoot other people who are black, and they are not charged they, for whatever reason. Um, well, some of them are, obviously. Some of them are. There are many more who are not. There are many more unsolved homicides in Chicago than there are in Sanford, Florida. Um, but, you know, we are where we are as a family, and George is where he is as George. And we're going to have the right conversation that we need to have going forward. You know, I'm, Trayvon is the victim of many things. He's certainly not, and the jury has found that he is not. Our system has found that he is not. He is not the victim of a murder. He is not the victim of a manslaughter. And as much as you want to spin it or talk about Skittles or trash George on your program or any other CNN program, he is an innocent man. He it's, not actually, it's not about that. trashing. It, it's not about trashing. It's just it turned out to be a fact after George pulled that trigger and killed Trayvon Martin, that Trayvon had been unarmed and just had a, had a bag of spittles. No, he was armed with the sidewalk, he was armed with his nose-breaking fists, and he was armed with whatever aggression he brought to that moment. You know, okay, what bag of spittles or bag of M&Ms or bag of whatever you want. I'm Don Lemon, live in Sanford, Florida.